Hey, how can I help you? Yeah, hey, uh, would it be possible to, uh, purchase... One like, please? Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a baseball field. Thank you so much to all of you subscribers and commenters that left a comment Let me know that I should make a baseball field. This has really turned into one of my favorite builds to actually design and make, and I'm hoping that you guys enjoy it as much as I did. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll keep you up to date with all of these awesome city builds that you guys know and love. But with any further ado, let's get started. So just before we start building, ladies and gentlemen, here are all of the materials that you are going to need throughout the construction. Please do make sure that you have access to every single one of those materials and enough of them as well. The amount of space required to make your baseball field is a 71 by 71 block area. Please do make this grid in your world if you are planning out a city or something similar because it's quite big you don't want it to overlap anything and that's it please pause the video if you have to gather all those materials make sure you've got enough room to make it make the grid if you are building this in amongst other buildings and once you're ready we can begin so step on the baseball friends come all the way to the front left hand corner of the grid if you haven't made the grid, just be patient one little second because we've got to find the starting point for those of us that have made it. From this front left corner of the grid, I want you to count inwards towards the middle diagonally by 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the starting position. Place a blue concrete on that 8th diagonal and extend that blue concrete to the left by 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then extend it going towards the back of the build by 34. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. We then want to extend right by 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We are then going to extend towards the back of the field again by 20. 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Now, once you have placed that row of 27, we should have a shape on the ground that looks like this. Now, once you have made that shape, I want you to come all the way back to where we very first started because this will make it quite easy. Take the very first blue concrete block that we started, this was the starting position, and extend it towards the front of the build by 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then extend right by 34. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Extend the 34th block inwards by 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then to the right by 27. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. The end result of this should look exactly like that. So that's the sort of shape that we have crafted so far. 
Now, the reason that we decided to make both of those parts like that is so that we can now take that 27th block that we last placed, which is this one right here, you can extend it across towards the back of the build and you can connect it to the opposite side. So we have saved ourselves counting out two very long rows. The end result of which it kind of looks like a big giant arrow or kind of like some sort of shellfish or something, I don't know, but that is what we want to have. Now you might also choose to round off the corner in the back right side of your baseball field. So the way that we would do this is that we would add a few rows of blue concrete in the corner. So start off by just adding a blue concrete in the corner, right? And then maybe add two more blue concretes in the corner. I don't know whether that's satisfactory for you, but if you want, you can round it a bit more by adding another diagonal layer of blue concretes in the corner. Once you are satisfied with that layer, all you do is destroy the outer blocks like this, make sure that you leave the connecting blocks and you will have created kind of like a rounded edge. You can do this to your own satisfaction. But now that we have created the sort of base shape of our baseball field, we are now going to do the seats because these are quite important indeed. So. What are we going to do? The seating areas, ladies and gentlemen, are the two corner areas that we have on the front left side of the build. So it's these two large stand areas here. The first thing that we need to do is increase the size of the blue concrete around the seats. And the way that we're going to do that is we are going to add three layers of blue concrete. One, two, three onto the entire area. So just to give you a visual representation, the blue concretes that we want to increase the size of are basically just the two large rectangular boxes where we place those areas of 34 blue concrete. But just so that you can actually visually see it, like these areas are the ones that want to be increased by three rows of concrete. Equally so, we want to do it to both sides as well. We also have an entrance in the corner area too, which we can also do whilst we are going to be working in this general area as well. But the end result of extending all of the blue concrete, so just imagine that the blue concretes are in there already, we want to increase the size of this area. But not only do we kind of want to sort of increase the size of all of that blue concrete, whilst we have the blue concrete out, I want you to come towards the edge of the field, right? On the back side of the field. So starting from here, right here, I want you to place a row of blue concrete that extends up from the back left-hand corner of the field. It's going to go all the way around the right rounded corner of the field and it's going to end up on the front right hand corner of the field. So again, as kind of like visual representations, we're slowly adding details to the field. So you can see that we've added a bit of a wall on the back side of the field and we now have to fill in the actual sides of the stands. It's probably easier to fill in the sides of the stands before we add seats. Once the seats are added, and once we add kind of like a little bit of a walkway around the field, once we add a little bit of path towards the seats and stuff, we can actually work on the field itself. I'm hoping that by doing it this way, I've made it, hopefully, as easy as possible. That is the hope. So, we want to just fill all of these in. It shouldn't be too traumatic. And I'll show you an easy way to uh, make the seats and show you how to space all of the seats and stuff in between all of the stand because it's, it's actually very, very simple as well. So now we have created an area in which we have two large boxes. Okay, so all we have to do from here is we just have to add in the seats. So the first thing that I want to do is come to this box area, the one that's directly on the front of the field. 
you want to come down to this corner and in the ground you want to dig out two blocks and replace them with light grey concrete. You want to do the same on the right side. So you come all the way to the right side, you dig out two blocks and replace them with light grey concrete. You place a wall of blue concrete in between the two rows of light grey, like this. That's perfect. We are going to dig around the back of this wall. So this is kind of a little bit more of a kind of like standing slash there is kind of seating as well. We're going to place light grey concrete just so that there's a bit of foot space behind this wall area. Directly behind the light grey concretes that are behind the blue you want to place quartz stairs. That is what we're going to be using for seats. So just directly behind the blue area. Place two rows of light blue, or dark blue actually, place two rows of dark blue behind the seats. You can actually cheat, you don't have to fill in the middle of it, like that. Add a row of light grey concrete behind the second layer of blue at the top. You then want to find a way to place stairs above and behind the light grey. So you're slowly creating a whole set of stairs like this, coming all the way up to the top. Just like this. And then all we're going to do from here is we're not going to place any more blue. We're going to place just another row of light grey concrete behind the stairs. And then quartz stairs just on the back of the stand. And if you wanted to, like, you could say, like add on another row of blue concrete just in case you know you were worried that people were going to fall off or what have you but that should be fine so all we have to do from this point onwards is create some sort of walkway to come up the side here so first i'm just going to add in some blue concrete just to the side here and i'm, I'm just going to have it so that we have uh, uh stone slabs coming up the sides of the sand and the stairs so people are going to be uh easily able to walk up the sides here just like this and we want that there and of course we want it on the opposite side it actually so uh, so happened that you didn't have to fill in any of the sides of these stairs or anything like that because actually these stone slabs cover it all up i wasn't sure if they did but they absolutely do he says hoping yes perfect so we should have something which should look like that. So that's a whole set of seats. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of seats for a lot of people. We want the same effect over there as well. Of course, we want to have the same stand over here. So what do we do? We come to the corner of the stand, which is uh, pretty much just like right here. And we are going to start off by placing just two light gray concretes in the ground. So like one two, one, two, coming out from that corner. We want to do the same thing on the opposite side. So all the way on this opposite side, we want to start from this corner here and we want to place one, two light gray concretes in the ground. We want to have a row of blue concrete in between the light gray concretes like this. And now that we have our layer of blue concrete in between the two rows of light gray, we can simply add a row of light gray concrete behind all of the blue, connecting the two rows of light gray together that we have on the left and right side. And this will allow us to have a little bit of foot room because we are, of course, going to, just like we did on the opposite side there, going to have a row of quartz stairs behind where the blue concrete is. We then want to place two rows of blue concrete Behind those stairs, so those are kind of like the good seats really, right? You've got like a nice little backrest with the blue concrete. We then want to have light grey concrete directly behind the blue concrete. And then we're going to have above and behind the light grey. Again, this is just like the opposite side. We want to have an entire row of quartz stairs like this. And then we're going to place a row of light grey concrete behind the quartz stairs. And then at the top of the stands on the back, we're just going to have a final row of quartz stairs. And if you like, you can add another row of blue concrete just coming across the back because we don't want anybody falling off. 
then all we would do of course is just add the rows of stone slabs so that you are able to navigate all the way up to your seats and all the way back down again as well. Feel free to add more detail to these if you so like, I just wanted to make an easy way of making loads and loads and loads of seats. So that's exactly what I did. But if you wanted to, you could have uh, fancier seats. You could even make sort of like uh, maybe like some sort of like VIP area. Uh, you know, you could add all sorts to this build. But the end result is looking pretty good so far, isn't it? We have something which should look like that. Two huge stands to sit in. So the next thing that we want to do is we just want to dig out this little area here. We want to be able to walk into the baseball field. So, like, it's it's not exactly like a, a <laughs> it's not exactly like the most secure entrance. But if you wanted to, you could add like a, like a, a kind of like an area to pay to get tickets in here and what have you. But otherwise, you just have like an entrance onto the field right here, which leads me on to this next thing. So, first of all, I want you to connect these uh, two paths together that we have here, like. I want you to dig out all of this grass, connect these two paths together using light grey concrete, and then just outside we're going to dig out all the grass, and I'm going to replace it with light grey as well. And as I say, d completely dependent upon how you kind of want to set this out, you could easily add like, I don't know, like ticket machines or like a little kiosk where people can buy tickets, or however it is you want to do it. I mean, it depends how like how much you want to like, actually like role play. I, I'm also just wanted to focus on the actual field itself, but you could add little details like that You could add like a huge car park to this build. There's many things that you could absolutely do like this is less of a stadium This is more of like just like a, a, a field to play on so again, you know change things how you will The next thing that we are going to do whilst we are doing details and stuff is I'm going to dig out the two large areas in the corners of the field that just have like grass on them, right? I'm digging out these corners and I'm going to replace them with grey concrete. So all of this grass and all of what's left of the outline and all of that, I'm just going to dig it out and I'm going to replace it using grey concrete. Pretty much the reason being is because I think it looks a little bit nicer. And I did also think to myself that this area could be turned into like a car park. Not only a car park, but you could have like say hot dog stands out here. You could have, you know, burger stands, you could have drink stands, like you could have people selling stuff outside in the like kind of quote unquote car park area that this is. Or you could turn it into kind of like a confectionery area. Confectionery meaning, you know, like a, the movie theater or whatever where you buy popcorn or what have you. Like you just come and buy drinks and food and stuff. Like that's what this area could be. And I'm also just going to dig out just one row around this area too because I kind of like the idea of just having a nice little border around the edge here. And uh, we've got a rounded corner as well. And I'm just going to dig all this out and I'm going to replace that with grey concrete too. Just to kind of like smooth out the edge. Everything in this world in particular, like my city world, is very like uniform. So that's, that's how I'm kind of keeping it. But it completely depends what sort of area you're making this. This could easily also be like in the middle of a park. It, it, it could just be like a, a nice little feature to put onto the edge of your city. You could fit, you could actually use it as like a nice big uh, area to actually like host some games. Like this could either be in a city, it could be in a park. You could add this to a school. Like there's so many things that you could uh, use this particular build for. Again, I don't want to get too crazy specific with things because you can add things like uh, hot dog stands. You can add things like uh, a ticket sales area, or you can just use it as a nice casual field. Like. Uh, it, it really is just subject to your own use. I, I'm hoping that it's quite uh, it's quite versatile in that you'll be able to do whatever you want with it. But my first instinct, whenever we've got large patches of land like this and when we've got a large field, is of course like what one area could easily just be like hot dogs and stuff. And maybe I'll even make like a hot dog stand or maybe like just like a food stand in general. That might be pretty good for the channel or maybe people, you know, maybe like an ice cream stand or something. I think I've actually designed one of those as well. And, you know, you could put the uh, put them in places like this. That'd actually be kind of cool. And you'd also be able to use them in other various uh, worlds as well, in other various uh, circumstances like you'd be able to 
to put them in parks and you'd be able to just put them down the streets and stuff i mean there's plenty of um like street food vendors that you'd be able to place uh, those sorts of uh, uh those sorts of builds with so it, it, it probably would actually be kind of a good idea to do those but you'll be able to see in adding all of that gray like it really does just kind of like add a little bit of niceness to the baseball field it adds a bit of shape to it so the next thing that we actually have to do right now is that we are actually going to be adding a walkway around the field like I've noticed in studying for this because I'm not American or you know I'm not, I'm not really into baseball exactly but I wanted to build this for you subscribers because I had loads of requests to make it. There always seems to be a path that goes all the way around the field. Now this path is going to be made out of terracotta and it's going to be three rows thick like all the way around right? So what that means is I'm going to dig out three rows of grass along the edge of the field and I'm going to replace it with terracotta. Now this even means where we have that corner over here. So we want to always maintain a distance of three from this corner area here as well. So we've got to be very careful in how we actually approach this corner and we'll definitely uh, do a little bit more work on that when it actually gets to it but I'm just gonna add like a, a base inline of terracotta um, just to kind of show you what sort of area you want to dig out but as long as you maintain a distance of three pretty much from the entire edge of the baseball field like the outer part the blue concrete area as long as you maintain a distance of three you should actually be all right so i'm going to show you this once we've done it and i'll show you how to clean it up on that corner in particular because it does look a little bit messy i will admit uh so once we fill this in basically everywhere outside of the terracotta towards the blue concrete we have to dig out and replace with terracotta and that's all right but uh, what i want to do is all the way in this back corner here right i want to kind of have the same shape that we have uh, uh, on the corner like i want to use terracotta and i kind of just want to create the same shape that we have like here so that means that we've got like inside of the corner we've just got like this this sort of shape you can see how it matches it so like if you had nothing here if you were just looking to have your three rows of terracotta you'd have like you'd have like this right and then you just kind of want to add like a mario's mustache of uh, terracotta just inside and then continue to dig out all of your grass it should look quite natural to you once you actually do attain the shape that you're looking for and I do want you to, I mean, if you if you don't want to, you don't actually have to even make the corner rounded. You could easily revert it back to like a 90 degree angle. I just had a look at like loads of fields and stuff. And it just seems as though that almost in every single circumstance, mostly, again, you know, it's not going to be for every single field. That back corner is almost always rounded. And quite typically, there might be a scoreboard there, which, I mean, I'm going to see if I can kind of just make one at the end. But it's going to kind of be weird because the scoreboard is going to be sat on this corner, right? And it's going to come across and it's going to be like a diagonal layer of black concrete. So it's not going to look quite right, hence why I left it off. But I mean, we might be able to uh, we might be able to make something that looks alright. If if nothing else, we could just make like a big black empty screen. It would probably won't look right to add numbers and stuff up there, which you could do through the use of banners. You could actually hang like numbers and you could use signs and stuff to make like team names and scores and what have you. But again, it, it all depends. There's always a weird balance with these Minecraft builds. Like, how realistic do you have to make them? versus how good do you want them to look and that's not really for me to like figure out it's kind of for you guys to figure out as well because uh, i'll give you the option when we get to it and then you can do what you want pretty much but uh, that's something uh, that just with it being in that corner i mean you could easily just have the screen or you could just have two screens and you could have not have it be on the corner but that's kind of like where it would be so yeah again choices 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 we have almost finished with this terracotta placing right here. We've almost placed all of the terracotta around the edge of the field. And you will notice it does look quite good once it's placed. I, I noticed immediately as I was building the original version. If we take a nice big bird's eye view, 
Yeah, there we go, we're starting to get somewhere, aren't we? And as a matter of fact, I mean, you don't even need to do all the things that we are going to be doing to the field to make it look good, but I'm all about choices, as you know. One mandatory thing, though, we have to make a cage. So, I'm going to add a cage around where uh, the batter would be. So, I'm just going to get rid of the first few materials in my inventory, and I'm going to grab white concrete and iron bars. I'll leave these alone for the moment. But right in this corner here, I'm going to place an iron bar, and I want it to go up by about 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I also want it to go right by the same as well, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And what this basically means is if the if the hitter doesn't actually hit the ball, uh, the, nobody's going to take a ball to the face in the stands, pretty much. So... That is why we're making like a double layer of iron bars just around here. But these iron bars are important, you see, because if we take the corner of the iron bars and get your white concrete, actually get your terracotta out ready, right? From these iron bars, I want you to count in towards the center of the field diagonally. I want you to destroy in the ground one, two, three diagonals, place a terracotta in the third diagonal, right? And I also want you to make a fourth diagonal, and I want you to place a terracotta there as well. But, the thing about this is I want you to focus on the first terracotta first, and I want you to, from this terracotta, I want you to dig diagonally upwards, and dig diagonally towards the bottom here as well. We are going to take each of those diagonals, and we're going to extend them, the bottom one, to the right by five, one, two, three, four, five. We're then going to place two diagonals coming up and in. One, two, in the ground. We're then going to count up by two. One, two. And then we're going to count to the right by 24. One, two, whoa, hang on. That'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24. I think that's about 24, but there's an easy way to do this. So the road that we just destroyed, I'd, I kept like double destroying. We have to check it, so I'm going to use terracotta. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that was actually right, surprisingly. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to count from the other side now. So I want to come all the way to this diagonal that we place coming like up and back. And I want to, from this diagonal, I want to dig upwards by five. One, two, three, four, five. And then in the ground, two up right diagonals. One, two. Go right by two. One, two. And then up by 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And I'm just going to place terracotta in all of this because I, I'm quite sure that that's 24. I didn't accidentally double destroy anything this time, so I should actually be okay. So I want to show you guys the sort of shape that we should have. It should actually look very much like that, which is pretty decent. That is not bad at all. So what we're now going to do is we're going to add some white lines inside of this before we uh, before we continue on. So I'm going to place... Remember this inward terracotta here that we placed earlier, right? So this one. I want you to dig to the right in the ground of this. And I want you to dig one, two, three blocks. Go in one. Right two. In two. And then I want you to dig to the right until you connect to the terracotta that we placed earlier. I then want you to continue digging, and I want you to dig 19 more to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Well, I guess it's not. It's, it's 18, it's not 19. You'll actually just connect to the terracotta. I guess that was silly of me. You can just simply just dig to the terracotta line then. You can dig that all out and replace that using white concrete like this. 
However, we also want to dig up from this terracotta tomb. And we want to dig upwards by one, two, three, right one, up two, right two, and then you can actually just keep digging upwards until you hit uh, the very edge of the field like this. You can hit the terracotta like that, as we did on the other side. And then all you're going to want to do is just fill the middle of this in using your white concrete like this, and you should have all of these lines, whatever they mean. As I say, I'm not really a baseball fan, I, I just I wanted to make this for you guys, so that's what we should have so far. What we're now going to do is we are going to add a single white dot here, which is where I'm pretty sure the batter is. The batter is supposed to be like right here, there's a single white concrete right in the corner, right in the middle there. So now that we have all of those fancy white lines, we are now going to make the inner field a little bit more. So I want you to come all the way to the end of the row of terracotta that we placed earlier. It's connected to the white line. I want you to move through the terracotta and through the white concrete. And I want you to dig in the ground coming towards the center of the field 22 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I double destroyed a lot again, so we're going to check this out. We're going to check out this row using terracotta. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. There we go. So you can place terracotta in that row if you're unsure of the actual amount of blocks that you destroyed. We're going to take that 20 second block and we want to place one block in the ground up left diagonally. Destroy above it and then destroy three up left diagonals. One, two, three. Destroy to the left one. Destroy an up left diagonal and connect all the way to the white line on the left. Replace all of these blocks using terracotta instead and we will end up with something that should look exactly like that That's the shape that we're looking for. It kind of actually looks like a fan or like a stingray or something What we're next going to do is we're going to come towards the center or the bottom left side of the field actually and I want you to dig in between these two white concretes here, I want you to dig out this block and destroy three to the right, one, two, three, three going up, one, two, three, and I want you to dig out this corner and these two blocks as well. So you're making kind of like a staircase shape and you can just place terracotta inside of there. So now that we've made our staircase, so to speak, I want you to take the very bottom right side of the staircase, the bottom step if you will, and I want you to dig 18 blocks to the right of it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I then want you to dig in, right, in, right, like that. I then want you to dig upwards by 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I then want you to dig left, up, left, up. I then want you to dig in the ground and count left by 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then dig down, left, down, left, and then all the way down. You should connect all the way back to the staircase area. So the shape that we now have, I want you to fill it in using terracotta. So this is actually going to be the inner slash outer part of the field. So we have inadvertently created a walkway 
And we have also made the outer part, or uh, the inner part of the field too. So, we should end up with a shape that should look like that. And that looks pretty decent. You want to destroy all of the grass in between the two outer layers of terracotta. And we're going to refine the shape of the inside of the grass on the inside circle. I'm pretty sure that's where the pitch would be. So we're going to just mark out a space where he or she would stand. And we should be pretty mostly done with the field by then, ladies and gentlemen. Then you have a few different choices to make in terms of colour and style of the field and how crazy you want to get with details and stuff. But again, I'll leave that Mostly up to you, but I will give you uh, a little bit of guidance in what you might want to add, what you might not want to add, but Make sure that you have this area dug all the way around the field. The terracotta part is absolutely mandatory And we are also going to be adding, as I say, the, the pitchers circle the Mound? I don't know. It's, it's something. You, got, you guys all know way more than me So you want to have something which should look like this, right? Well, what you can also do is just uh, dig around where the batter would be. Just here, you can get rid of all this grass, and you can also replace this with terracotta too, because this uh, this doesn't have to be terracotta, this uh, doesn't have to be grass, this is all terracotta. Unless for some reason you liked the grass, but I mean, I mean, the whole point of the terracotta is just to really highlight the areas and, you know, let people know where they're, where they're going and where to stand and all that fun stuff. So you probably don't want to just leave it as like um, white lines on the ground. So now that you've created this sort of like, uh, I guess, fish shape, we then want to figure out where the, uh, the picture is going to be. So if you find this corner here diagonally, like as, as if you're looking at it from here, you want to count in the ground, you want to count about 11 blocks coming inwards diagonally. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Destroy that block, replace it with white concrete, dig a square around it, like this, place terracotta inside of it, so we're looking at it from this sort of view right now, right? And then we're going to dig out the front side of the square, the right side of the square, the top of the square, and the left side of the square, and we're just turning it into kind of like a plus shape. And that is where the pitch would be, just right about there. So now you can kind of see how this is all laid out, right? I mean, it's that's pretty much mostly it. There are a couple more things that we have to add. So there are two boxes, don't ask me what they are. They're on the sides of the field. They line up like this. So you see where the grass is here? I want you to place a white concrete on the opposite side of this terracotta where the grass is. Destroy to the right by one, the left by three, one, two, three. Dig out the ends, so it kind of looks like a stable or a table or like a U or what have you. That box is there. Again, don't ask me what it's for. We want another one on this side too. So like where the grass ends on the opposite side of this terracotta here, destroy. Go left one, destroy right by one, two, three. And then dig out the ends and fill it in using white concrete like this. So you will end up with something that should look exactly like this. The next two things that I'm going to do are going to be uh, completely like, um, you know, it's, it's completely looks based, it's, it's completely up to you whether you want to add it. So there are quite often times lights around the field, right? So I'm going to have lights in four positions and they're all made the same way. They're kind of ugly, but they're made out of diorite wall, redstone lamps and daylight sensors. If you come to the front right hand corner of your baseball field and you count inwards a certain number of blocks, let's say about uh, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to mark this out with a diorite wall. I want to do the same thing on the opposite corner. So the front right corner, we're going to come to the back left corner. And we're going to take this corner and count inwards one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Diorite wall. 
We're going to come to the back right corner. Not that we rarely have one. So like the back right corners. And we're going to count inwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to place a diorite wall here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a diorite wall there. So we have in equal positions places to put those lights, those huge floodlights. And you just want to add a certain number of diorite wool on top. Maybe 10, 12, 30, whatever. I'm, I'm going to say 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Maybe a little bit higher. 11, 12, yeah, 12. 12 will do. We'll place redstone lamps on the top and extend them out with daylight sensors on top. And that just looks like sort of floodlights. I mean... They're really hard to make. I mean, you could use sea lanterns. There's no real way to replicate them very well. So I've kind of went for a very basic style here. Uh, so on top of all of them, you're going to want to do the same thing. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Lamp, extend outwards. And then I like daylight sensors on top. Um, we're going to do the same thing over here as well. It's going to be 1, 2... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11, 12, I think. And we're going to put the redstone lamps on with the daylight sensors on top. No, you don't want to work? Okay, there we go. And then we've got that final one over there. And feel free to spread them out more. Don't spread them out more. Place them where you like. It's all up to you. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um... I just, I, I'm not even sure if I like them or not. Not even sure if I like them, but you see them so often, I didn't feel as though that I could ignore them. So, like, you might even want to place, like, those two, like, a little bit further inwards. But, you know, you get, you get the general gist of the idea that way. Uh, if you want to add some sort of screen towards the end here, I mean, we're kind of getting in the way with the lamps, but it's okay. A uh, screen would probably be made out of, say, like, black concrete. And the screen would be like, it'd probably just be placed along this back here. And it'd be diagonal, and it'd probably just like supersede the field a little bit. And you'd probably make it one, two, three, four, maybe four blocks high, something like that. Kind of like in a diagonal pattern like this. Like so. And then you could even like have it extend down to the ground if you wanted to, although that wouldn't, you know, really be a big deal. Something like that. Those, some of those blocks are absolute, actually absolutely 100% unnecessary because uh, the screen wouldn't actually like, you know, it wouldn't supersede. Probably wouldn't want it to connect to the ground actually un unless you, you know, maybe, maybe if you added in maybe like white concrete or something kind of just as a support or some more diorite is kind of just again like sort of the supporting blocks but if you wanted like a score screen or something like you could absolutely have one and you could make it even wider and bigger if you wanted to it's just that like with it being diagonal you can't really hang like a score off it very well that's all i mean it will just look a little bit strange but feel free to absolutely do that if you wanted to and uh, just two other things that you might want to do. You might want to get rid of all of the grass inside of your baseball field. So I, I'm actually going to show you a pattern and I'll show you how to do it, right? So if, if I was making this field, if this was purely for me, I would make it so that the outer grass here, like outside of, uh, of like the pitching slash catching area, I dig all this out. And I'd have green concrete as grass, like for all of this area. So all of that big area outside there, that would be um, green concrete. All of the area, all of the rest of the field that doesn't include the pitching slash catching area, all of this would be lime terracotta, right? So that's what that would be. So two different shades of green. However, the inner circle, I would either leave as grass or... I, I see this quite often. It's kind of like a cool design. If you dig out, like, diagonally towards a, like, kind of feel in the shape of the area, like, if you dig out diagonally, 
like patches of grass like this. Make them about three rows wide. It, it's kind of like a series of diamonds, or it kind of looks like the, uh, the blade of a sword, like, like this, right? And then if you use green terracotta, if you start yourself off with, like, green terracotta in the middle, it kind of lines up with the pitcher like this. And it'd obviously follow through it and it'd go all the way to the back and what have you, but you can have like a similar sort of deal, like dig out to the next of it like this on both sides. And you just want to keep the pattern going. It actually looks like really, really well maintained diagonal grass. Like it's quite hard to kind of like, uh, like plan it out until you start just like digging out blocks. Like it's kind of hard to like see it in your head. Like where do I even sort of like do that like if you keep doing that and uh, you just like alternate the colors so you just it's basically always free about three rows wide or so like this all the way towards the back and uh, that would be a line and then again like you you just like join them together and it looks like really fancy grass, but I don't, I don't really want to sort of like sh tell you guys whether or not you should do that. I'll completely leave it up to you like that's fancy grass. So like the very outer part, green concrete, the large part of the field, lime terracotta, and then I'd have mixed grass in this area. If you wanted to, you can add car parking spaces outside. I usually like my cars to be about three or four rows thick. So however you like it, like one, two, three, four. And you could just have like car parking spaces, like one, two, three, four, five, maybe like five or so. You, you probably don't have to make like really long spaces like this. So again, like about leave a row of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. That seems like a really wide space, but I mean, you know, if you wanted to bring some uh, like a huge vehicle here, then you'd be able to and just like dump it in the car park. So again, like you can you can add uh, car parking spaces here. You probably wouldn't want to park next to the light, but you could if you wanted to. Like you could just have it there. Um, one, two, three, four. You know, something like this would be fine. Feel free to add car parking spaces outside if you wanted to add like maybe like a little key kiosk or something like you know have have like some sort of kiosk that would be like here maybe like uh, you can buy your tickets from it and you'd have kind of like a little window and stuff like it'd probably be like right about here like this and uh, people could like sell tickets and you'd pro you'd have something like you'd use like fence to stop people just like straight up just running in like this and uh, you know you'd, you'd have like either like a trap door or you'd use something like um, you'd use like a fence or what have you and you could just have that uh, have that like this and what would that grip onto would would, would it grip onto the diorite wall I wonder yeah, that does, but the the actual diorite wall itself doesn't. But you could you could easily just use like a oak fence as kind of like a, the barrier instead, and maybe just put like iron bars on top, something like that. And then that way people co couldn't just like run straight through; like they'd actually have to buy a ticket. And you could have like uh, glass in these windows here, like you you could have like uh, something like this, right? So like glass here if you wanted to glass here somebody could actually like you could have like a door here as well if you so chose so somebody can actually like sell tickets and uh, you know you'd probably even make it like a different set of colors and stuff as well um, you'd put a roof on it maybe or it, it could just actually be just like a straight off flat roof or it could just be like blue like the roof could be like blue or something like that uh, something like this right and you could even make uh, make the corners like blue too just like really make it stand out maybe actually make the roof a little bit shorter so like the roof would actually be on top so like if if you wanted to have like ticket admissions and stuff like all of this is kind of like just up to you as to whether or not you're going to want to uh, add in any of this so you know something like this would wouldn't look too bad uh, you'd probably just fill in this wall here with ah that would probably be white as like a contrast color really uh, around here blue here you know something like that and then you'd uh, you'd have like 
Well, this, this would probably just be straight up sealed up. And then inside here, you'd have like, you know, uh, da, 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 da. you'd have like a, a chest the way you could actually um, like get the tickets from um, maybe just in this corner actually so you could actually get tickets and then hand them to people on the other side depending on how crazy you want to go you know whether you want to add the ticket machine or whether or not you uh, you want to add car parking spaces or whether or not you want to make the field lock dead fancy whether or not you want to have a screen keeping score whether or not you'd want to have like hot dog carts and stuff on the uh, outer perimeter where you didn't have a car park or you could easily just have another car park all of these things are absolutely optional. Ladies and gentlemen, I forgot one very important thing. We are missing one more white concrete. This white concrete is centered on the end of this area, which is where I think people run. I think this is where one of the bases are. And it is centered. If you follow through the white concrete of the pitching area, you follow it diagonally all the way you want to place the white concrete right in the middle here between the terracottas like this so you'll end up with something that should look like this like this is where all of the white lines are that's how it all looks together almost forgot that whoops <laughs> so I'll tell you what guys I am going to dig out the field I'm going to make the alterations to the field that I suggested. I'm going to dig them all out. I'm going to make it all look like really nice, cool, fancy looking field using all of the techniques that I've showed you. I might even make the ticket machine, uh, the ticket area look a little bit better too. I might add some more car parking spaces over there. I might make that screen bigger. I might try and hang some letters off there and some numbers, see if that can be done. And I'll be back and you can decide whether or not any of those things are, are worth your time after you've seen me do them. So I'll be back in just a second, ladies and gentlemen, with a nice completed baseball field. But hopefully you all have the techniques now that you'll be able to use to fill in the grass and add all sorts of other parts to the field if you wanted to. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the 100% completed baseball field. Let me show you some alterations that I chose to make and some that I didn't choose to make. So the first thing, the most noticeable change, is the fact that I decided to go with the ticket purchasing area. You won't need this depending upon where you're actually building this build. If it's like a field attached to a school, you probably don't need this, but if it's just out in the wild, you might. The ticket purchasing area is basically just a blue concrete box placed right in the corner between both sides of the field that has item frames on the sides of the corners of the box with paper inside the item frames Signs underneath to say that this is where you purchase tickets. We have some pressure plates for contrast as well on top of the white concrete and a box inside containing tickets. We have a fence around the actual purchasing area with a fence gate to make sure nobody actually runs away or runs straight through without a ticket. If we come all the way to the sides, you'll notice that I refined the parking area ever so slightly. I drew the parking spaces away from the floodlights and I just made them look a little bit nicer, pretty much. When it comes to the inside of the field, I did choose to go with green concrete for the outer part. I stuck with the same pattern of lime and green terracotta for the inner part. However, I left it like this so you can see the difference. I quite like the grass versus the lime terracotta for the outer field because I feel as though it contrasts much nicer against the actual concrete and the terracottas inside. I feel as though that grass looks better, whereas if you look at this patch here, like it, it just looks a little bit more boring. And also, I did expand the screen at the end of the field, although I didn't decide to place anything inside the screen because I, I actually think it just looks fine as it is. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is the baseball field, and it looks so impressive. It really does look like it's, it's, it's such a huge build, but it's hopefully quite a simple one to make and add to your world. I, I think it looks really good, and I hope you guys do too. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button, as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. If you are new around here and you like city builds, 
and you haven't already, subscribe and click the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to see something in particular, leave a suggestion. You may have seen at the start of the video that quite a few people suggested making this, so I actually did it and they got featured at the start of the video. So if that's something you're interested in, do the same thing. I'd love to see what you guys want to see. And on top of that, we don't only just build baseball fields on this channel, we build all sorts of different builds. We make fast food restaurants, we make donut shops, we make parks, we make convenience stores, we make uh, hotels, we make all sorts of crazy stuff on the channel. If you want to see any of my other past, previous, present, or even future city builds, check out the card system and the description below. That's the best place that you can go. I'll leave a link in the card system, the description below, and even at the top of the comment section too. Absolutely everywhere that you guys will be able to see the city builds playlist, which will show you how to make all of this and many, many more in the future. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. I am going to jump off the top of this swing set, as is customary in my religion, to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you so, so much. You are the reason that this series continues. I love you all very, very much. Good.